In government at all levels, critical stakeholders have been charged to provide pad bangs of, to secondary schools to enable girls child stay in school during and after their menstrual cycle. They identify gaps to lack of access and unaffordability of menstrual hygiene kits as major threats to girls' education and increase out-of-school adolescent girls' child in the northern region and across the country. The Girl Child Advocates made the call at a sensitization awareness campaign to secondary schools in Kaduna on empowering young minds towards tackling procrastination and menstrual hygiene challenges supported by PAGE Initiative and funded by Malala Funds. The convener, Sada to Idris, says the high cost of PADS barrier, good menstrual hygiene among students, stressing the need for usage PADS to tackle the challenges. It's because of the, the excessive um, uh, cost of menstrual pads we are having, we are facing. You find out that one pad in some places is two thousand, some one five, some one thousand. So to know to to think that a, a lady has to use this pad every month and she have to spend this amount of money each month for that. The situation we are in this country, you are after what you have to eat, rather than what you have to maintain your hygiene as a woman. So I want to let to teach them how to make a reusable pad. That one will be budget friendly for them, it will be cost effective and it can be a, a source of income for them because when they make it, they can sell it among other ladies because we are, every lady, even if you've not started menstruation, you have to start it one day or the other. She donated sewing, soaps and detergent for the students to, healthy, to be healthy during menstruation in school while calling on government to provide part bank to schools to promote girls' child education enough with a sewing machine that they can use and sewing the menstrual pad with the materials needed for the menstrual pad. There is a soap that they can use in washing because they can't use it to, they can't use any type of soap to wash. Like they can't use the detergent, the OMO or clean. They have to use a bathing soap. So I provide them with that bathing because and the government is dead. In this um, project of making this menstrual hygiene, I don't think it should only stop in just two schools. Because only I cannot do everything for also, but with them they have the enough resources to provide every school, which maybe like something like a, a pad bank, where they'll be making these pads and then they'll store them for them in uh, in that bank. So when a lady is on her period and she's in class, you know how to say she have to go back home or go back to her hostel because she can't stay and she don't have a pad since she's stained or something like that. So that pad bank will serve as a source for them to go get a pad there and then go and clean themselves up, then go back to the class and continue with their classes. Also, the facilitator charged the students to be productive by taking their academics beyond secondary school to fulfill their career in life, urging parents and stakeholders to prioritize girl-child education with bedrock of developed society. These girls to actually be very much productive in whatever they do. And they should also know that the journey actually doesn't end here. It doesn't end in just the secondary school that they are into. But rather the biggest journey is outside when they live here. How are they going to manage their time? How are they going to be more productive? How are they going to achieve their goals and also be whoever they want to be in the future? Girls child, you should know that um, you have the power to be whoever you want to be. And you should know, um, and also to the public, they should know that educating a girl child is like educating a nation because um, through that, the education doesn't stop at, her, uh, at just her. When she gives birth, she's going to educate her children, and also from there, the journeys continue. So please, let's put more effort in ensuring that our girls are well educated and they are making good use of their career. I learned how to use a um, renewable pad and how to fix it and how to wash it. I also learned that I shouldn't wash it with clean or kiss soap because once I wash it with kiss soap or clean, we, the brothers, we don't get a lot of water. So in the process of rinsing it, we don't want it to be clean. So some particles are still left there and it's harmful to our system and it causes infection for us. I learned more things before we used to buy we used to wash our things with Omo, and now they advise us to be using our bathing soap, soap to wash them. And they tell us to take care of ourselves during our period time. At least we bath at three times in a day. We should change our part at least three times in a day too. 